Hey everyone, welcome back to Fresh and Healthy YouTube. Today I have Kate Moran, the educated plate with me, and I'm actually with her because I'm interning for the next few weeks as you guys have probably seen on some of my social media like Instagram or Snapchat. But I'm interning with her for the next few weeks here at the Minnesota Twins Spring Training Facility where she works with the Minnesota Twins and all of the minor league players as well trying to get to that level. So I'm just gonna let her introduce herself a little bit more and then we'll get to this fun little interview. So hi, I'm Kate Moran. I'm the team dietitian for the Minnesota Twins, and I'm based out of Fort Myers, Florida, where we have the one of the only MLB academies. So basically our minor league teams, there's six of them, and they roll in and out of our academy. We have a two-story hotel. We run the food service and facilities operations here. So it's a very unique um, opportunity for our minor league guys to spend some time here. Okay, so my first question for her today is just how did you get here, like how did you get this job? Because this seems like the dream job for any sports dietitian. Um, so how did you get here today? So my experience is working in food service. When I was in dietetic school and all through college, I worked at a bakery. Um, I became a manager at the bakery. I was in uh, working at hospitals. I was a patient dietary liaison. So I worked you know, making the, um, the customized food for each of the patients and bringing it up there. And I really just tried to understand everything I could about food and how our food system works, um, managing employees, working with other employees. And I worked, when I graduated, I got my RD and I went to Brandeis University and worked there for a year and a half and then worked at Bryant University for another year and a half. Um, I opened up two food service operations. So what that means is I worked for a large food service operation like Sodexo or Aramark and they obtained new lines of business. So we started from scratch and basically built the business and that food service operation. And I worked in dining services there Mm -hmm. So interacting with college students about, you know, how to eat healthy and how to stock their dorm appropriately and um, how to not necessarily work out, but how to eat, you know, pre-game and post-game meals. So worked with a lot of athletes there and really got into sports nutrition. Mm -hmm. And this opportunity was available within Sodexo. So unlike a lot of MLB player, uh, MLB dietitians rather, my role is in partnership with Sodexo, so I have full access to the kitchen and the employees. I can train them and um, really focus on the menu. So I think one of the biggest things that worked for me in getting this job was that I flew down here, I interviewed, I told them to rent a room out, and I did a PowerPoint presentation and was just like, didn't give them a reason to not hire me. You know, these are all of the things that you need help with, and these are all of the skills I have. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do That's it. That's awesome. So, even though you're all the way up in Boston, you could have taken a phone call, but you flew down here because you're like, this is what I want, and I want to show them that I'm qualified for this and I'm ready to take on this position. Yeah. I think never saying no. Like, if anyone in in business is asking you to you know try this or try that um, I think it's really important even if it's scary and it's something you may not want to be doing like inventory or managing a budget or whatever it may be you know those allowed me to get this job yeah that's awesome so that's like tip number one right there is just to like go above and beyond what you're <laughs> asked to do um, just to kind of show that this is what you want and just kind of to be confident in mm -hmm. telling them like I can I can fulfill like what you're looking for and be confident in like what you have to offer. So I guess the next question I have for you is just the fact that as working with like a professional team there's a whole team aspect to things on the other side with the staff and that's with the head coaches, the strength and conditioning coaches, her as a dietitian and just so many other players. So if you can just talk about that and how you work with all those different people so that you guys can all give the twins what they need. Sure, yeah. So we have, I have 
people on the Sodexo side. So we have our general manager, we have a chef, we have supervisors, employees that are all working in the kitchen. So having a strong bond with them and making sure that my goals are their goals and we work together to meet the needs of our client, the twins, our, our baseball players, that's really important. So to be on the same page and work hard, um, you know, you really gotta give and take and pick your battles. I think it's important. You know, sometimes I get frustrated because everything's not at the level I want it to be, but it takes time and, and you have to nurture that relationship until, until you get what you want. Um, on the twin side, working, I work really closely with our strength and conditioning staff. So our athletic trainers, even management, um, you know, there's clubhouse managers on all of the uh, minor leagues and our major league. And like, again, like working with the chef, you're building relationships. Trust is numero uno. It is the number one. If they don't trust me and believe in what I'm doing and believe that I have their back and I'm working to help them, yeah. forget about it. <laughs> I won't be yeah. included in the conversation. Mm -hmm. So I think it starts really with strength and conditioning in terms of mm -hmm. you know individual counseling and group counseling, um, the managers on the teams to help. You know, if I want to do a seminar on hydration, I need to organize that in their super busy schedule. Um, athletic trainers with people that are injured, our rehab guys, I mean, there's so many people. So, you know, like I said, building relationships with them, respecting them and their time and their needs, and um, really at the end of the day, it's all about the players. So, yeah, that all sounds great. And like what you were just saying about the trust, that kind of brings in another side of things. And I know with just spending the little time I have with you that you are at a lot of the meals, just kind of sitting there, being a part of their lives, yeah. kind of just being present to like be there if they have any questions to ask. Um, but that kind of goes along with just gaining their trust and stuff. So just kind of like say a little bit about how like you go about with meal time. Sure. And just spending some extra time with the players when you can. Yeah, so at meals, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, um, I try to do like plate coaching, um, I guess is the term you could call it. So basically if someone comes in and is like really tired or um, you know, they could be dehydrated or just like wiped, um, or they or they want to gain weight or lose weight. Um, coaching them on what foods to eat will help them reach that. Some people don't know how to build a salad, which is okay, and some people have never tried a cucumber or you know don't know what curry is going to taste like on chicken. I mean that can be scary. So, so coaching them through that and getting on their level so that they understand and feel comfortable and that trust again is there um, will help them reach their goals and then you know we really could be I try to touch tables with a lot of guys you know eating is a very social time yeah so they're talking about different stuff whether it be social or their game or whatever um, and I try to talk about both I mean you know that's a time where they can start to get to know you know how I can help them or um, what thing you know just education they could mm -hmm. ask anything so it's definitely an opportunity for them to ask questions and you know for me to even pick up on some red flags like if people aren't eating or if they're only eating protein or if they don't drink water or only drink Gatorade mm -hmm. you know it's it's they make choices there yeah, so that's awesome and like I know I've spent like the little time I have with her and being there at meals like they really do appreciate like they'll be funny sometimes <laughs> when they joke but then other times like they do have sincere questions yeah. and it's always so great that she gives that time over to be there at the meals and just be present because just being a part of their lives makes that trust like grow and so that's just so important so I guess like the last question is just like anyone like me that is in the field gonna be in the field wanting to get a job like you have yeah. um, <laughs> just what kind of advice do you have to offer sure I think the number one above anything is really just believing in yourself I mean you have to wholeheartedly believe that you can do it 
you know, school for me wasn't the easiest. Um, I had teachers tell me, you know, this probably isn't for you. I don't know if it's gonna work out. And I was like, great, watch me, <laughs> you know, like I had um, former bosses who, you know, didn't believe in me as much as my current boss does. So believing in yourself is number one. Number two would be really knowing what you want. You know, sports nutrition and this job in particular is very unique. Um, there requires travel. You're looking at educating all different age groups too. So we have guys as young as 16 and then I have guys up in the major league that are 36. So customizing your education and technique and what you're talking about, your approach is really important. So number three for tips, I think when you're in school, really just focusing on school. I know um, it's hard because it's so demanding and it may require you to learn a different way or to apply a different side of your brain or you know really test your limits but I think it's important because all of that is so real I mean your internship I still apply tools that I learned there and skills that I had there um, so really just you know embracing it all and learning from it and in um, you know, studying as hard as you can for your RD exam and, yeah. you know, networking, using your resources. Like I was in study groups and, you know, had the um, Inman's review on my iPhone and was listening to that like all hours. <laughs> so, you know, just getting through that time and then, you know, you have the rest of your life to work and figure out how you're going to get to that job. Mm -hmm. uh, number four tip would definitely be working hard. It's not it doesn't come easy. It's not like, oh, all of a sudden you're just gonna get this job. Like you really have to work hard and and fight for what you want, what you've determined that you know that you want. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes the process of figuring that out, mm -hmm. it's okay if you find you want something else too. Yeah. Um, so those yeah. would be my few tips. <laughs> Well, those are great tips, and I know I've even learned things that I can be doing, and just with my little time that I've spent with you already. Um, but yeah, I just, I guess, just like a takeaway from this is number one, being confident in yourself, two, um, working hard, and number three, like, don't, like she said, like, I love this part is like, if you realize you, this isn't for you as you start getting more and more into the field, it's okay. Like, like, don't be scared to realize that it's just not for you. Um, like she said, being in the sports dietetic field, it's very time consuming and very, I mean, you're working long hours a lot of times, you're there from the first practice of the day, like we were here at 7 a.m. because that's when their weights started. Um, and sometimes you're here to the last time that they're like the last game is done if you, especially if you work in a college program mm -hmm. and so you really have to want it you have to want it you have to love it you have to be passionate about it um, and so I guess those are just our few tips for you guys today and um, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions for either me or Kate comment below and we will answer them yeah um, make sure to follow her educated plate she has her own website and Instagram um, and Twitter, so follow her <laughs> on everything. And of course, if you aren't following me, Freshman Healthy, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned to anything else that we do throughout my time interning with her through my Instagram, her Instagram, Snapchat, anything. So until next time, guys, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for your support. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>